distanced yourself from the Lord. All right, hello, what is up everybody, this is The Wonders here, and we are back with some more Mass Effect Andromeda gameplay. Um, now I'm, do I'm doing this the same day as the other videos, first three. Um, I don't know if you can tell if it's evident by the shirt I'm still wearing. Can't talk to any of these people, can I? Oh, hey. All right, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? Uh, since you're being really sensitive, it's cool with that one. It saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role, eventually. It isn't hereditary. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. I'll forgive you. I forgot to put subtitles on. Also, um, I, I saw in the other videos that they, uh, my webcam uh, was not lit enough. So I brightened up my monitor. My monitor. Ho hopefully that helps. Alright. Um, relationship with my father. Plan for the hostiles. Failing outpost. I'll be going. Insight into the strange tech. Let's do that one. How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. Yeah, I was going to ask you more, but... Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? You... It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Thanks. Prove me wrong. I shall, you motherfucker. All right. I mean, yeah, you know, to each their own, right? Jesus Christ, I gotta stop saying that. All right. Um, it says a marker over there, but I'd like to explore just a tiny bit. What the fuck? Uh, sure. Hello, hey. I'm Jan Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. Thank you, but no thank you. All right. Fuck. By by a little mint, that's what I meant. By a little bit, not a little mint. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ! I can't speak ever. I think you forgot to hit confirm when you filled out the forms. They're not listed. Nah, it's fine if you say you fixed them. Yeah, it is fine. Yeah, you know, yep. Yeah. We'll just stick with that. That was a good exploration, don't you say? This is Wouldn't the planet you? where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. About time? You trust me now? I thought I didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative. <laughs> 
and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. Thank you. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. Okay. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the golden worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay. okay. You said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... All right. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates Girl. for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> you got an attitude on you. Something wrong? Ryder, King me and Sam note on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. They're as much a part of the initiative as the human arc. We'll find them. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? Let's see. I have had some questions about the Nexus troubles, like what the fuck is actually going on with that. The Andromeda Initiative, I really could give lots of ass ass about it until it, you know, comes up in the actual story. Tandro, who the fuck is Tan? Don't remember her name. I'm not good with names. Planet viability, don't really care. Missing arcs, we'll find those on the way home. So, Nexus troubles. Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. Mm. The Scourge killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, G.N. Garson, is dead. Who the fuck is... Okay, many questions here. Uh, start with G.N. Garson. How did G.N. Garson die? With the rest of the leadership. When the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large wing of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. I thought Jean Garson was a guy. That's my bad. A uh, Scourge disaster. Mysteries on Habitat 7. Uh, mysteries. We came across alien technology on Habitat 7. It seemed to affect the weather. Your people know anything about that? There have been reports. Failed scouting missions have mentioned advanced structures of unknown design. Whatever they are, they defy explanation. But with our resources stretched so tight, no one has had a chance to study them. And what if the answer was bad for morale? Suppose these things turn people into food. All we know is the cat are interested in them. I'd rather not stir things up. Sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly? I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you the Scourge killed hundreds, many of them up. Even the founder of the Okay, it's the Scourge Garson, disaster is dead. Candros mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. 
I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. She used to be one of ours. Who the fuck is Sloane Kelly? Who is this Sloane Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. Where is she? There don't seem to be many Krogan around. No. Good riddance. What? The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. No. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. What's it, what's with, what's with the dislike for the Krogan, buddy? Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Okay. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Ah, that's close-minded thinking, buddy. But that's whatever. All. Thanks for your time. I see you again. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. Everyone on this goddamn ship is so got fucking fucking closed mind is. It's amazing how they get anything fucking done. How they make any kind of fucking decisions. Uh. All right. Um. Where the fuck? Alt. Yeah, there it is. Press alt. Over there. What? What? This way. Okay. And then this way. Is it? This way. Is it? Right. Holy shit, an arms merchant. Merchant. I cannot fucking alliterate. Alliterate? Weapons and stuff. I believe it's alliterate. Jesus. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. Sure thing. You got it. Shop till you drop. Here I come. That's fine. Hey, wait. Please don't drop anything you bought from me, okay? Okay. Tam would have my head if anything happened to you on my account. All right. So what we got? What we got? How much credit? Oh, we got one twenty. We got 175 fucking credits. Holy shit. There's no way we're fucking getting anything, is there? So we got pistols. We got assault rifles. Uh, shotguns. And, uh, there's one shotgun. Did I just buy it? No, I did not. Thank God. Uh, sniper rifles. I'd like myself a sniper rifle. But... Let's see. See all savage... See all salvage. What's X? Total gain? Holy shit. Yes. Huh. So I got myself a sniper rifle? Rifle? Sniper rifle? Wait a minute. I already had a sniper rifle, didn't I? Well, that's my bad. I wasted some money. Wait. Oh no, I sold it. Oh. Oh. Ah, I don't have enough for that one. Oh well, that's fine. What else we got? We got, we got these mods. I'll keep these mods. Alright, now how do I equip things? Is it E? What is it? Nope. 
no fucking clue how to equip that goddamn uh, wristwatch goddamn thing. Um, but I did finally fucking turn on the, f the subtitles. Where am I going? There's two, uh, fucking... God, I gotta stop saying fucking... Too small for lizards. You'd be surprised. Pathfinder. No time for our beer yet. This place is a mess. Security is it. Let's call it strained. I can believe it. Nexus is running on empty. Not just that. A lot of the exiles were security. Everyone was trained and armed for Frontier. We know Ket are dangerous, and now we have to worry about our people too. No idea where they went, but they left mad. They were frustrated. If they just wanted to kill, they could have fought to the last here. Apparently, we're the big hope for everyone. Not the Hyperion showing. Just us. I'm with you. It's just... a lot. Nah, if you let them know you're freaked out, then they'll really, really freak out. As long as the Nexus is here, as long as we're here, we have a job to do. Yeah, boy. Double down crisis mode. I can do that. We can do that. There you go. See? Being willing, Pathfinder. I know people. I know people. Dude, you look really fucking badass. It's Gotta so say. It's not fair. Really hot. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. Yeah. There's hope at last. We, we, we're good. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. Okay. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What was the crime? What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda. But the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. Okay. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. Yeah, I'll speak with him. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Milken I love him. I shall. But also, be prepared, because you never know. Lieutenant, based on status report... Lieutenant, based on status report 16C, it seems that we're no closer to gaining a foothold in any sector. Got a decent recon and greater intel in this enemy. I'm starting to think our efforts are futile. The risk involved and in continued loss of resources and lives makes it hard to for to to justify. With morale this low, we need to scale down expectations again. Can't adjust. <sighs> yeah, makes sense. Strike team missions. Is that your name? Oh, hey, Kanjos. I just... Hey. I know that look. The others bent your ear, did they? Something like that? You get used to it. Just focus on being a Pathfinder. Can't argue with results. Though they'll try. Anyway, welcome to Militia HQ. Excuse the mess. This office fields militia work, Nexus security, and looking for the Tyrian Ark. What's the word on the Turian Ark? Scattered readings. Some indicate the Natanus was destroyed, others that people are alive. Who knows? If you need anything, come see me, even if it's just a vent. Um yeah, let's let's vent, huh? Uh what are the militia's uses? It's rough out there. I might need backup if you can spare the people. That'd be nice. Strike team specializing in assault and extraction. If you need serious firepower, my Apex teams have you covered. All right. In fact, I could give you authority to dispatch them. It'll cut down their response time. Thank you. Our current ops are on the terminal. See if there's anything that could use a shot where it counts. All right. Uh, not Tyrian warfare. Your role. What'd you do? You talk like you weren't part of the leadership. How did you end up commanding the militia? 
I was escorting a prospecting team on some moon when those Ket found us. They penned us like cattle for experiments. I managed to get loose, snatched a gun, and freed the others. By the time we killed the bastards and headed back to warn the Nexus, everyone looked at me like I was in charge. That sounds familiar. The militia grew from there. Funny, once the heat is on, all kinds of people rise to the top. True that. What the fuck is the cat? What do you know about the enemies we've encountered? The cat. Oh, that's how we you spell it. We see them on worlds with those alien structures. The cat don't take kindly to anyone studying them. Not okay. sure why. They don't talk to us. Every time we cross paths, there's a fight or they take prisoners. Why? What do they want? No one knows. But I've seen their weaponry and what they do to those prisoners. I want them a long, long way from the Nexus. Hmm. What do the fucking cat want? I think Are this is the last one managing okay? that I'm gonna so, do. So. We're not good at sitting around in a crisis. Service before self gets drummed into us at boot camp. That's probably why so many of us are in the militia. We like to earn our citizenship, whatever galaxy we're in. But it's hard to focus with our arc missing. See you, man. Bye, Andros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Hmm. Glad to have made a friend. A mutual friend. Hey, this what's console it? This reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candros for authorization to participate. Oh. That's weird. Hey, I'm here again. That's the console for our strike teams. Yeah. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex, combat experts who've signed up to defend us. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. Fuck. Um. I'd like to say, how are you trusting me? But also, dispatch them for what? What situations should they handle? Protecting civilian outposts, holding key positions, or just distracting the cat. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Okay, so it, um... It, it, the options left before I had a chance to do anything. So, it does. it, it is on a timer. I have it. Now we know. Uh, disrupt enemy communications. Flag. False flag. Okay. S select, I guess. Missions are currently strike teams. For each mission attempt. Time required. Expires in. The icon describes the difficulty of the mission. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this one first. Let's just do a basic one first. See how this goes. Because this sounds really freaking useful. Time required. Um. Yeah, we should gather some resources. So, yeah, let's gather some resources. Um, would you like an Apex mission in multiplayer or send a strike team? Send a strike team. Start mission. Wait. Oh, we only have one strike. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. Let's try and see if we can find more. Also, shouldn't we do something about that lady's uh, husband? Husband. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. What happened? Did stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Why paranoid? What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Whoever's doing this has to be stopped before someone gets seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a BI. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. 
but I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait, that's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. No. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me if they start hitting critical systems. Yeah, no problem, sure dude. What can I do? Yeah. If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that would really help. Okay. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. Will do. No, no, All right. And I don't, I don't know. It, it just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Cash? Who the hell is Cash? All right. So he sent shit to my. All right. So what's this? Investigate Pathfinder's HQ site. Speak to the scientists. Speak with the prison guard. Okay, so these are all objectives that I can fucking click and just do. Alright. Okay, so the main objective. Which one? This one's that. Okay, so those are those three. I should do those first. Speak with Cash. Speak to the scientists. Do these first, and then that, then the scientists, then cash. Okay? We got this locked and loaded. Let's do it. Uh, which one's closer? This one. This one's closer. Pathfinder, to the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. Quick ass scan. scan. The connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. Nope. Not what I was trying to do. There we go. Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Wait, what? What? Oh. What the fuck? No relevant data. Alright, so this goes all the way back over here. Oh, it goes up there. Uh, is that good? Or is that bad? Let's let's go find out. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data. I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction, or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. God damn it. I keep trying to press G, and then I press F or H. Alright, so... Oh, that goes back there. Here it is. Scanning. This panel has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. Yeah? It really is sabotage. Thought Any so. Any ideas to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels. How are you as doing well as the one Raj Patil encountered? Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Oh. Okay. Where the fuck is the Hyperion main deck? Is it upstairs? Where the fuck? Up there? Hey Cora, how you doing? Just gotta go to the main deck. Wait, no, this one. Oh, there's two different. Huh.
Alright, here we are. Sarah Kellis. I have a word with you. Zara Kellis? Zara. Yes? My bad. I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. Blatant lie. I have the scans to prove it. Here. I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omni tool. Mm. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing. And it led us to you. My scans point at Raj as the one. So unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data Mr. You're lying. accumulated is strangely similar to Mr. Patel's. A third party seems likely. Oh, fuck. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. Wish I had access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. But... What if she's the fucking... There? She's yes. a goddamn How did it go suspect on? now. Is it... Is it really her? <laughs> Wasn't her. She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. I don't know if she was telling the truth. I don't think she was telling the truth. I am damn positive she wasn't telling the truth. But, you know, if she escapes, she escapes. Don't know how she's going to escape. I didn't even see the... Dane didn't just freeze, did it? I don't know what I could do. That could be more annoying than a fucking game freezing. Again, you know, it just, it boils me up right when I'm trying to, right when I'm trying to figure out a story. And then it fucking freezes on me, you know. Be like, ah, he's wearing different shirts. Holy shit. He is. Two, two different filming sessions. Holy shit. Are you clever? Maybe, but probably not. It's okay, though. It's okay to be a dumbass. Like me. Hour.